We've been doing these Q&A videos and we've been doing these interviews and something's missing. So today we'll mix it up. I received a lot of questions on uh, the studio and I, I've been working hard on the studio since uh, September last year. I'm going to answer your request. We're going to do a studio tour. Of course, the, the thing that you've all seen and the, the view that you all get, this one behind me and uh, this is kind of like the basic view. And the way I do that is I have a tripod here that I set up. You see, I built kind of like a, a shed thing of course, I got my uh, KJ's here, my Kometa Joe's, the Big Joe, and the Classic Joe. This is the um, Pro-Q smoker, and I absolutely love this smoker. You set it, and it runs, and it runs. It runs for 48 hours, it has a huge capacity. The meat that comes out of this smoker, there's no comparison to that. That's just perfect, perfect smoked meat. If I would do competition, I would only use this device. And then here we have the Black Beast, the Bry, the Home Fires Bry. I absolutely love to come with my family, stand around it, start up the fire, grill up some fish. And there, of course, there is the wok, which I placed there just now, just to get it out of the way of the videos that I will be shooting today. I got a small fireplace over there and uh, that helps to keep me warm in the winter. Got some garlic over there, wok pans even more wok pans. Got a little booze up there for cooking. And here we got the, the travel queue. I absolutely love this little machine, especially for burgers and small things. You just fire it up and it's ready to go. I got the Prestige Pro, really great machine as well. Got my headphones. You got, might remember this one. Uh, it's now currently my mini bar, but that uh, was the fridge that I used for dry aging a steak. We got some more grills and the uh, where we go anywhere ice cube machine we got the carson radicio big green egg mini of course uh olive oil salt pepper and the injection needles got my wustoff knife ziploc bag tin foil i got my starters right here my lighters thermometers I got a couple of them you can never have too many thermometers controllers whatever got the flame boss the party cue always rubber gloves and i hate these boxes where they come in you know the, the rubber gloves come in these boxes and they're there these boxes are terrible you have to yank them out there you always get 100 instead of one got some butcher's rope right here tin foil measuring cups and these are really great these are really these are measuring cups they do millimeters teaspoon tablespoon ounces i got my uh my cups, my tablespoons, a couple of chicken stands over there in the back. I got my pestle and mortar. Some more pans and I like especially... I got this pan from IKEA. Stainless steel with um, Teflon coating in there. It really is a nice pan, I really love it. A big paella pan. Big paella pans are really great for cooking for a lot of people. Spatulas, a mopping brush. My uh, tongs, v tongs are these, and uh, these are kind of my favorites. I've got these from Russell, and when you close them, they don't, you see, they don't open up again when you hold them up like that. But if you point them down and you push them, they open up. V tongs, I got the Napoleon Kettle Pro right here with the cast iron grill grate. I got the Musta rotisserie over there and the pizza ring. Some nice chopping boards, and here are just some things to dress up the plates. Pizza stones, lava stone, some glass bowls for cooking, some oven trays. Here I got my spices, charcoal briquettes and coconut briquettes. These are my spice racks. People sent me spices to use in my videos. An Anchor Kraut selection, a Don Marco selection, uh, some more Anchor Kraut, Meadow Creek, the Rage Rub, the Musta Rubs, Udenheimnis Rubs, of course, and some Dizzy Pig, the 08 Fumsin barbecue rub right there, Bretonniere, it's a Dutch guy, he has, makes great rubs. Now don't tell anyone but here I'm working secretly on my own spices when I get my spices on the market I will definitely definitely let you guys know smoke chips smoking dust a whole lot of smoking chips and I think that's just basically it yeah that's basically it yeah yeah
Uh, just a quick closeout for this video. I want to say a big thank you to Colin from Boatsell for hooking me up with the sails on, sails on the side that closes off my barbecue environment and that allow me to make great videos for you. And he also hooked me up with this really nice cover. He even put my logo on it. That's cool, right? And uh, for all you Dutch guys, go to his website and check out his really cool covers. I think he's, uh, he's working on uh, English and German website as well. Go check it out. He made a special website even for the covers for Kamado Joe. Thanks again for watching guys and uh, see you guys next time.